Yeah, starting off with a brand new, brand new one rather from Nice. Yep. If it's happening in the world of movies, best believe we'll probably be talking about it right here on Nollywood Tuesday. Yes, our Tuesday shows are dedicated to the movie lovers and cinema goers. Or if you're just generally passionate about the growth of Nigerian cinema, then you're welcome to sit at this table. Sure. Yes, on Daniel, ladies and gentlemen, this is Nollywood Tuesday on East Splash, and we say welcome. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, in case you're wondering, this is Roya Innocence Flanners. I go by the name King OJ. Well, you can call me OJ. That's what it is. It, it is, is what, what it is. is. You look well rested, OJ. <laughs> I, I am. Yeah, you look it. After yesterday night, <laughs> I beg. Oh, really? Yeah, Chelsea got whooped, didn't it? Let's just move on. Right, let's do that. Let's <laughs> save you from the shame. My name is Paula Dele, guys. Welcome aboard. <laughs> All right, and it's the jewel in the crown. Of course, it's your girlfriend next door. And it's the hostess with the most. Mm -hmm. My name is Honeypot. Thank oh, you. she. <laughs> yes, what do we have planned for you guys today on the show? So let's take you through today's plan we'll bring you today's entertainment stories very soon then celebrity birthday shout out and a quick history lesson of today in entertainment on rewind on tweet field for Ladele, we take us through all the crazy and funny stuff happening on social media after which you will be joined by an actor later on we'll run away our worries on the true tough segment after that you'll get the entertainment news recap of the stories that you might have missed on Daily Top 5, we'll take a look at five Nigerian actors to look out for in 2020. And in the final lap, OJ and I will bring you some movie talk on the Movies at the Movies segment. And then, of course, they'll be Where Are They Now? Are we ready? Sir, we sir. are ready! Alrighty, so let's get the show started already. We'll be back after this break. <laughs> yes! Absolute Jam, Yo Yo, Adekule Gold featuring flavor right there. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. It is now time for our entertainment news. Let's get right into it. Brian O'Quara and Mary Miller become parents. Yes, Nollywood actor and model Brian O'Quara has announced the birth of his first child with his longtime partner and model Mary Miller. He made the announcement on his Instagram page where he shared a baby bump photo from Mary's maternity shoot, disclosing that their child has arrived and asking his followers to predict the sex of the baby. He captioned the picture, we just had a boy slash girl, share your prediction. After many predictions, the former Mr. Nigeria took to his Instagram page again to share more pictures and confirm that it is a boy. Massive congratulations to Brian and Marie. Yay! Yes! Yay! Okay, so, um, congrats. Yay. I'm just curious. <laughs> What's that, Waladele? Like, congrats. Yay! Because I'm about to go in, so you will not think that I'm a baby hater. <laughs> so, um, is it that we're slowly adopting because I yes. I think <laughs> I think it's safe yes. to say no are you in our mind land for <laughs> you know what I want to say <laughs> so it's safe to say that uh, marriage is a big part of the Nigerian culture at least the culture we met on ground from our parents and so I just feel like are we now adopting like an external culture where we don't really see the need for it anymore or is it that we've just seen so many bad marriages and we just find this to be a comfortable arrangement um what is it because can we say it's a western thing or can we just say that people are just opening their eyes and <laughs> and people well, I think it's an individual thing. I won't say that it's a Western thing because okay. even in the Western world, you still see people who really want to get married right. before they right. do. Okay. So I think it's um, it's an individual thing. However, it's just very funny this era where we've found ourselves. That is, we wake up to different things every day. People saying that, oh, don't you think the married thing does not even make people stay, um, you know, loved up forever? Right. Like when they're not married or they don't give that title that, uh, you know, they could just be there. And then people are citing the example of Oprah and the partner yeah, and all yeah. of this. So I think that is still an individual thing. We have people who have been married forever and there is no how, whether your brother, your sisters, uh, you know, like your siblings, you, you fight yeah. and the tongue fights with the mouth, you know, and all of those are with the teeth. And then, you know, they still come together. There is no how that you don't have challenges. There is no how there won't be friction, whether your colleagues, your best friends yeah. and all that. So that cannot be totally avoided if you say that, oh, because I just want us to be yummy forever but the thing is the friendship between you keeps you going so i don't think that the motivate honey pot motivate. and then I, I don't think that the holy books uh, would have been wrong to 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 talk about marriage you know uh, and not just one holy book i mean i think in all the religions we have marriage right i well perhaps the ones that we know, the ones yeah, that yeah. We know. Yeah. so I, I don't know why 
this is what is the in thing at the moment and why people are going that route and you know that again people like the bandwagon thing or oh, people are doing it already so uh what, what, they don't think it through before mm -hmm. they do it mm -hmm. well, talk, talking about marriage before we leave this conversation i think i was having a conversation with somebody in this office as regards to them yeah. and the person saying she actually thinks brian they've gotten married probably a court wedding or something because she saw brian recently with the wedding band so we never can tell i beg everybody they're wearing these days so, um so, talking about <laughs> about marriage ladies and gentlemen let's move on to the other news nick cannon say he doesn't believe in marriage yes american multi-talented entertainer nick cannon has stated that he doesn't believe in marriage the 39 year old ex-husband of maria carey opened up about his views on marriage in a recent interview with entertainment tonight where he said and i'm quoting i don't believe in marriage anymore my mindset has changed I have done that. I don't like doing things that I'm not good at. He further talked about how his divorce with Mariah Carey changed his views on tying the knots. He stated, and I'm quoted, if you jumped out of a plane on time and it did not work out, you would not do it again, would you? I barely survived. Why would I jump out? Why would I jump out of the plane again? Mm. Just so you know, Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey tied the knot in April 2008 and together they share eight-year-old twins. Nick Cannon filed for divorce from his singer in 2014, reconciled briefly in 2015 and ultimately finalized their divorce in 2016. In February 2017, Nick Cannon welcomed his third child, a baby boy named Golden with Brittany Bell. Okay. So, Saga... <laughs> Nicolon so, is saying um, it's a rap. I'm not doing it again. Still yeah. talking about marriage. So I guess I guess that kind of answers the question that I was asking, um, and I also kind of like what he said about um, if I've done it before and I'm not good at it, why would I do it again? And I do agree that if you try jumping out of the plane and maybe you fall or you jump out too quickly and you land on the floor and the parachute isn't there to hold you, it's not something that you'd be excited to do again. So um, I think, so there's this um, talk show host, um, Larry King. He's been married, what, like at least eight times. <laughs> and, and Mental. So for, <laughs> so for him, maybe he just really likes the idea of love and there are people like that who want to do it again and again. But he's saying maybe he doesn't want to have a long list of marriages that he's gone through. And so he's like, look, I'm not good at it. Why bother? And I like that. I like because we always say, I mean, uh, so for Christians, they always say that a Paul in the Bible never got married. And so if you think that it's not something you're going to be good at, hey, back off. Move leave on. it. It's not by force to enter it and then make a mess of it. But if you say that a Paul never got married in the Bible and then you're going to just stay and remain celibate, you're not going to uh, start Long having sense. children, having baby mamas, having children about like you're pulling them. Boop, boop, That's another boop. angle. I'm, 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 because it's just so funny because, yeah, uh, we, can, we can take freedom for granted sometimes, right, right. you know? And I think that as human beings, there are laws so that we will be, um, what's that thing again? We'll be guided yes, so yes. that we can always do things the way we're supposed to do things. Because where there is no law, people just live anyhow. Yes. And that is what it's looking like Anarchy. it's becoming mm -hmm. right now. It's so, a normal for just if, day. And I think if you happen to have like so many children everywhere, like please make sure you're responsible enough to take care of them. True that, true like, that, don't, true that. Because anyone can have a child, but it and takes love, a real man to be a father. Yeah, and, a real and I love the co-parenting um, thing that Mara Carey and Nick Cannon are doing. Yes. Still civil, yeah. everybody's still living their life. Yeah do everything for the children. So I don't even know what made me look up uh, Ray Charles' okay. story. Yeah. And then I discovered that, yes, it was married once to one woman and then he had 12 children yes. from 10 women or thereabouts. It's Ray Charles. And <laughs> Ray Charles, the BS. <laughs> yes. And so... Uh, and then he was still talking about it even before he died at old age that, you know, it was something that it could not just, women, 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 <laughs> drug and women, like it could not do with, it without was, uh, it was, Phenom came the other day and talked about girls and yes. women, like, um, girls and drugs, like that life. Yes. Uh, All right. So can we just move on? <laughs> All right. So the third one, and it's Neo, right? Yeah, Neo confirms splits from wife Crystal Smith. Singer Neo has finally confirmed that him and his wife Crystal Smith are no longer together and will be getting a divorce. He made this known when he was a guest on Alexis Texas podcast, where he talked about his life, career, and his relationship. Take a look at what he had to say. Slowly but surely becoming uh, public knowledge that, you know, uh, myself and, and my wife have decided to, to go ahead and get a divorce. Um, it's not a, I mean, it's, it's, it's not a sad thing. It's more of a, you know, us, realizing that long story short i'm never gonna you know talk bad about her i'm not that person 
you know, uh, there's nothing bad to say about her. She's a fantastic woman. She's the mother of my children, and she's always going to be that, and I will always respect her. Long story short, she's got demons just like everybody else, just like me, and we realize that our demons don't mesh, and until the both of us get a hold of our personal demons, it's going to be just difficult for us to, you know, for us to stay married. So with that being said, that's that. That's the end of that chapter, not the end of the book. You know, like I said, that's the mother of my kids, and I love her to death. Um, we're going to be family forever. So, but with that being said, uh, are we? <laughs> Meanwhile, it seems Crystal Smith might be enjoying the single life as she was recently sported parting with Black and Crew, Chicago star Ran Henry. Mm. All right, wow. Here. Let me hear. Um, On that many days. Sorry. Wow, not days, OJ. <laughs> but wow. um, he, he said something very interesting that as. Um, they, they're trying to get a hold of their, they couldn't get a hold of their personal demons. Yeah. And so they found that and they staying together family. would be difficult. Yeah, and they would remain family. We talked about people staying civil for the sake of their kids. And not to, to decay the situation. Oh my gosh. And, and, <laughs> and to be honest, like, it's, it's so easy to say people should stay married. And if they decide to get married, they should stay married. But at the end of the day, it takes two people to make it work. And there's sometimes there are external factors that you let in. Sometimes there are personal demons that people are dealing with. And honestly, like, people, I don't know, man. I don't know. Now, wow. I like, I, I like I all know. what Neo said. I hopefully, like, hopefully yeah. Crystal will not come up, grant an interview, and just spoil everything. And not, start I mean, bringing out I, all I, the dirty, dirty things from I the I really do hope so. I hope that it will be mature, because that was actually really yes, mature, mature, if you ask Yeah, me. and he didn't need to bash her as well. Which was yes, nice. yes, yes. All right, now, that's the end of entertainment news. Now, we get into Celebrity Britney. Shout out. So, yes. Let's shout out today's popular celebrant, American rapper, so writer, record producer, entrepreneur, record executive and actor, hey. and audio engineer, the legendary that Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre is 55 today. Woo. Dr. Dre that Let never gave us that detox album. Bruh. We waited, waited, and waited. Dr. Dre wow. is a legend in the hip-hop circle. Oh my goodness. The Le amount of people he has put on, and of course the death row thing when yeah. he owned it with Suge Suge Knight, Knight as well. Snoop Dogg, yeah, Tupac. Yeah, Snoop Dogg, Tupac, Easy all the people e. they put on. Yeah, so many <laughs> business like the of artists, man. Man. Yes, businessman, exactly that. And so imagine after many years of his career, he just came out recently with that franchise yes. and yes. cashed yes. out. Yes. See, some today. people are really good at that business. Mm -hmm. Amazing stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> also turning 55 today is American actor, singer, and dancer John Travolta. You might remember him from his roles. Yes, so we are pretty excited about this. You might remember him from his roles in films like Pulp Fiction, Face Off, Wild Hogs, Hairspray, and The Taking of... Pam. Yeah. One, two, three. I, right. I remember him in that and hairspray as well. And yeah. of course, face the, off. Yeah. Yes. And then people started saying, is he gay? Is he not? Because he was a woman in hairspray. Yes. Just let him live. Look, and amazing career, stage, film, TV, like everything. He's done it all. Fantastic. Can, can I quickly say that John Travolta, I used to pray for the kind of house he has. Oh my God. Because you know, he packs his plane yes. in his compound. Like, yes, it's a I pilot, know, he, can, he can fly the plane. And you can imagine. I'm just packing my plane yeah. in front of my door. Just Come down and enter my house. Amazing Lord, when? Me. Lord, when? I still pray. Level. I'm waiting there. <laughs> Levels. <laughs> American rapper and recording artist Jules Santana, Jules Santana. is 38 today. Wow. Got, I can't believe it's 38. I, I, Chris Santana has but, had crazy situations with the law, man. Yep. Back yes, and forth yes. from drugs to gun possession, crazy man. Yes, he so has. I think for somebody person. like this, like maybe today it's just like, God, yeah. I'm still here. Finally. I'm still alive. Still standing. I'm finally 38. still standing. 38. <laughs> All right, and we say happy birthday to everyone who's celebrating today. We love you. We're sending you happiness, love, light, and well, kisses. But guess what? <laughs> Give them. Ojena. No, it's too local. It's not the right kiss. Nah. Tell them that you love them. We, OJ. We love you. No, say I love you. I love you. Oh my God! <laughs> yes. OJ! We are done, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Rewind this <laughs> next if you want to know about this day in entertainment history. Watch this. <laughs>
It was the first time awards presented based on a nationwide basis. And in 1975, the second American Music Awards had Olivia Newton-John and John Denver winning. Finally, still on this day in 1977, George Harrison releases True Love. And that's it on Rewind. And now it's time for Tweetville. Yes! Yes, this is Tweetville, ladies and gentlemen, where we bring you all the savagery, humor, and craziness on social media. Honey, about checking me out because she think I'm cute. Yes! I can see, see you me. from the corner of my So how did, were you able to read my mind? I just saw. I so saw you I checking me out. I was just like, out. okay, so should I say something or we should just get into it? How can you just get into it? Say something fast. My darling, you look good. <laughs> Thank I you. I love the combination of the boots and dress. I love your eyes. Oh, wow. They're Thank like you. so yummy. Okay, too good, too good. <laughs> OJ is not comfortable with compliments, so he's like getting uneasy. OJ, and you said you're guys. not from this part of the world. I would have thought you're from this part of the world. Hell no. Oh, wow. <laughs> you Spanish. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, Dr. Oso Benedipo is very popular on Twitter. And he tweeted, send your boyfriend or husband a random 50,000 naira as per weekend enjoyment money. And then the eccentric imp replied, so if you have four boyfriends, that's 200k gold. <laughs> Just like that. God forbid. Wait. Wow. Cynthia. Girls are what? Scum. Yeah. Since I told you to have four boyfriends now. Mom, oh. But even the guys that have several girls, they send the 50k. Okay, they, so you showed. They just do it. So if what guys can do, girls can do. So which do are you better. preaching for? Um, so polyamorous you... relationships or? Run everything. So if you can do they, the crimes, you should be able to do, do the crime. Yes. So and do the fine. And do the, wow. Hey, <laughs> right. do I love right. Drop it. How many minutes? <laughs> Next. I'm not going to give you the opportunity to hate, okay? Yeah. So, <laughs> this is a character with very, very red eyes. And um, someone said, I'm posting this for a friend. And so, take note, very red eyes. And the caption, when you want to cough, but your boyfriend is on the phone with his wife. Eee. Wow. That's a girl, by the way. So, go away. <laughs> so, you die of the cough because, so that they will not say, whose cough is that? Who's coughing beside you? So, you know when you're choking. What kind of lie can you lie at that situation? It's my phone that is ringing. No. Say like it's at night. Maybe he went on a trip yeah. and it's like 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. Ah. And he's it's the waiter. And the he's waiter. no, but his soldier is in the room. And the waiter just came to drop something. And he coughed. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Fine. Yeah. So you know what? Room Some service. things are not just worth it. How? How? How can you be talking to someone you're so yummy with that person and then he say, "Shh, shh, shh my wife is calling." Yeah. What? They, they run I mean, that they freaks they... me out. That, those I are the things that like holding your cough. Somebody, you know that he's married. It's not fair. Don't do this to people. They, it's 2020 that they run. What does that mean, OJ? What are you preaching, OJ? I'm preaching the good deeds. Of polyamorous of relationships? The world. <laughs> Guys, let's just move on from this bad person. Okay. So I, so I think this is in two parts. So, excuse me. So this is first the picture of Shalash Ali, the actress. And of course, Patience another actress, Ozoko. Patience Ozoko. And so someone captioned this. Who would you rather prefer to be your mother-in-law? Uh -uh, no. Tony Tomato or Mama G? And I think there was a reply right there. None of them. <laughs> Someone said, if Tony Tomato is your mother-in-law, there is a probability that she might like you. If she likes you, you're all turning up together. Hey. Mama G will never yeah. like you. <laughs> That's Patience true. Ozokwa is a legend. That is actually with... true. <laughs> what? If she likes you, people will go for one bed together. Sh exactly. Hey. So, Shalash Shabu Wale is only is that it can be to the extreme. Like, uh -huh. if she likes you, she likes you. And then she likes you so much. If she hates you, oh my gosh, she's over. You're in for it. You're... But, Patience Ozokwa. Mama G. Like, dislike, bro. They can never what like are you. you doing with my son? <laughs> hmm. I, but, but you know, she likes you when you have money. Actually, I remember. I remember seeing some films where if the the guy it's has rich. money, ah, she's good. She's good. It's true. <laughs> it's true. We will take you to the city. It's true. None of the above. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, Dido Ray Zhu um tweeted, and so this is a picture of Will Smith, and I'm you guys have been seeing this meme, and his face is like yikes. And someone captioned it: When your mom says what? And you said, no, when your mom says what? And you reply, watermelon. Then you realize it's your mom. Ah, Yikes. There's no food for no you. No food, there. no shelter. You know that gist I was giving <laughs> you that time. Pain. About Tam Tam. Yeah. And so she goes, <laughs> girl, <laughs> you crazy. To who? To, to the mom. mom. <laughs> and so her mom just went, eh? First, I am not a girl. A bam. Two. You don't look at me. I am your mom. You don't say I am. But this is a bro. But this is an this American. Is a no, but this, but this is an African American family. Really? But imagine if it was a Nigerian mom. Do you think that you would even have that dialogue of first, I'm not a girl. No, no, second, no. Second, I'm not crazy. Pa. 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 P
Amy. Amy watermelon. Oh, Baba, your daddy is watermelon. Oh, contact Amy. <laughs> right, next one. I think we have one more in there. So this is, a picture, so this is a picture of a baby. And the face is like, <laughs> you mean myself? <laughs> and, and so um, someone captioned this. Just found out drinking water while eating isn't so good for the body. So you either take water 30 minutes before a meal or one hour after eating. And someone <laughs> used this picture to reply, okay, so make yam kill me. Because, <laughs> because I'm supposed to be doing the right thing. Like, but the face to finish, me like, oh, so make yam kill me. Well, <laughs> like, really, this is the truth. Sometimes I think about all this health stuff, diet stuff, and I'm like, ah, come on. How realistic is oh, this? It's not COVID-19. Some people say cold water when you take it and some, something don't go out of your bath before you eat. When you after eating, I say, keep oh, you know, why? It's not so convenient, <laughs> please. I can't, I can't do this now. Do we have one more? That's it. Oh, that's not the baby's face yeah. leg. Oh my God, that's so it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Dele. Yes, we will go on a short break and we will be back with today's guest. Stay here. Ah, jam for days. Absolute jam. Jam for days. And you know, I, I don't know how my money has been going, going on YouTube to watch this video. <laughs> I've watched it over, like I'm addicted. I don't know until I get tired of it, like taking it a lot of it, and then at some point, maybe I'll now get tired of it. I think that Yemi did fantastically well, mm -hmm. you know, pairing up with Angelic Kijo because Angelic Kijo is not an ordinary yeah, person to yeah. work with. Yes, I've seen Nigerians work with her, but guess what? I mean, this is an outstanding one, especially with the fact that, you know, this is the cover of her song. Like, I'm sitting on this because this is like the official, <laughs> so, like first time officially talking about this video. Yeah. I love, love, And love, I was going to ask you, it's interesting that you mentioned that because we've, we've seen a couple of other Nigerian artists collaborate yes. with Angelic Kijo, but you thought that Yemi's was like... Okay. Yes, I think Yemi's one is fantastic. I like the fact that, well, it's the cover of Angelic Hijo's uh, Wombo Lombo. Oh, and, um, well, Oma Omi's one too is beautiful, yeah. I must say. Like, you know, Angelic Hijo kills it. And I think that it makes people, she makes people feel at home with her. Mm. Like, you know, she's so warm and pleasant. I have not met her, but I think from what I see, <laughs> I mean, from what I see, I think she's, and I love the fact that they really went in on this video. Uh, you know, the costumes, the props, location. the location, and everything. I mean, every single thing. I just thought it took so long. Like, because Yemi Alade calls herself Mama, Mama Africa. Africa. And Angelique Kijo is yes, Mama Africa. Yes, I so, agree. Yeah, so I just felt like, ah, I thought you would have done this since. But uh, again, the timing, the timing is yeah. perfect. Co um, coincides with her Grammy um, gra fourth Grammy win. Yes, so, I love. Love. And you know how people just say that, uh, what a good time to be alive. Yes. Yeah, what a good time to what be alive. Mm -hmm. And I think it silenced the people who, has, who have been talking about Yemi Alade for a while because now. Because my Yemi is good like that. I mean, don't stop. I mean, my Yemi now, because you like no, this one. Yemi has always been my Yemi now. Even when you see Yemi, Even she'll when you're not impressed with I the told, song, you see your Yemi. No, so the thing is that I've always believed in Yemi. Okay. And I just think that it's just the Nigerian market. Yeah. You know, this is what they want. And so she gives them. So when you see the meme and then you see Vane popping and then they're saying, what is Yemi singing that she's popping Vane because she does not even have a song like that that she should sing and popping Vane. And I'm like, no, yeah. Yemi can sing. Yeah. And Yemi is one of the beautiful performers we have in Nigeria. She performs so well. Her stagecraft is on another level. On a thousand. Exactly. All right, so well, it's Yemi. Hola, Yemi. Yemi, hola, Yay! That one. <laughs> no, but she, she, she's cool like that. I like her because yeah. of her person. She's talented, All right, for sure. it is time for Daily Five. Five, four, hey. three, two, hey. one. Let's hey. go. Hey, 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 hey. 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 So you all know that this is my best part yes, of the show. Is. Last week, we talked about five Nollywood actresses currently making waves today. It's the men's turn. Let's talk about five fast rising actors who we are keeping an eye on this year. This is Daily to Five again. again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are starting with Swanky JK. This Nollywood actor started his acting career in 2017 when it was featured in the movie The Spirit. He also starred in the 2019 film Lionheart, but it was his role in the Living in Bondage sequel, Living in Bondage Breaking Free, that got everyone like, wow, who is this guy? We are looking forward to him getting more jobs this year. 
here. Yes. So guys, what do you think about him? He was here on the show. Yes, he was. I love that picture because it was a picture of <laughs> when he came on the show. But um, he was so ta he was so 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 good in um, living in bondage, breaking free, and it's crazy how you could have been doing a couple of stuff. And I think yeah, he started like just quite recently in 2017 or so. And but then you could have been doing a couple of stuff, and there would just be that one job that really brings you out. And whoever like really believed in him to have put him on and allowed him to do this. Kudos because he really, really, really killed it, honestly. And I liked um, the fact when I came on the show and said that wasn't his major, first major yeah, thing he did. Yeah, I was yeah. Lionat and I had to go and watch yes, Lionat again. Yes. Like, oh, you were there. Yeah. Oh, you did see but you. to be honest, but now like I know you. Thing because yes, he yes. was like he was the lead in Main this. Yeah. Lead character. Yeah. Yes, Definitely. and um, I enjoy the fact that I watched the premiere. I mean, I attended it yeah. and I saw it. I saw him afterwards. I saw everybody. And then w the reactions I got I'm afterwards. Yeah. And it was real. It was genuine. It's not like because we just want to gash you up or something like that. Yeah. And well, it was here. So you saw him on the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at this clip. Tick tock. Tick tock. What have you done? Nothing! Are you ready to get your key? <laughs> what key, sir? Key to the good life. Killed it, yes. killed it. Ah, switched up when he was angry, when he was chilled, when he was speaking Igbo and being funny. And killed when he it. was going to kill his brother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, I will not spoil it for you. Oh, wow. Watch it if you're not watching. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on to the next actor we are looking out for in this 2020. Yes, Toby Bakery. This Nigerian actor, model, host, and photographer rose to fame after finishing up as a finalist in the third season of Big Brother Niger. I think being a fan favorite definitely kept him on the lips of many, so much so that, the, that he started getting hosting gigs, scoring commercial deals, and now acting jobs. Yes, his acting career officially started in 2019 when he starred in the film Mokalik. His role in this um, recent Sugar Rush film also made him mem memorable on screen. Oh my goodness. Like, Toby is the legit underdog, as in, he came from- the Reality show. Yeah, and I think people just, so people always said, ah, Toby will go on to do great things because he stood out in his season. Yeah, and, yeah so people were like, so some people quick. were even comparing him to Ebuka and saying that it would be the um, younger version yes, of Ebuka. Yes, but this was so fast because we even thought he would go back to photography mm -hmm. and then he was doing a bank job before, so, and then, this just came up. Anyway, let's check out this clip of Toby. After this commercial break, of course. This message is so cool to bring money. So the latter was him in Sugar Rush, and I really liked him. We were talking about yes. it. Yeah, so I would say that um, whatever training he got or yeah. how he looked into himself and then brought out how well he so. can do, because he did very well yeah. in Sugar Rush. And I think like that that's the one that impresses me yes. so far. And I feel like off of that, um, off of his role in that film, he might actually get a lot of jobs yes. this year because he really killed it. Yeah.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, the third person on our daily top five for today is Alvin Abayomi. He has this Nigerian actor and model um, started his career in 2013 when he acted in a series titled Theater of Dreams. He has since featured in series and movies like MTV Sugar, Calabash Banking, Moms at War, Casanova, and Isoke. He has featured both as an actor and a writer on Jennifer's Diary. As an actor, whether he's playing the role of an adult or even a teenager, Alvin always gives his best performance. He's been in the industry for a while now and we cannot wait to see what 2020 has in store for him. Yeah. And talking about playing that character of a young person yeah. and an adult, he actually kills you it know. any day, any time. Like him I saw, the world. Yeah, I saw him in Sugar like, this is an adult. Why is he when <laughs> why is he when screening from like a child? <laughs> Yeah, Alvin, Alvin kills it. In, yeah. in Moms that were him and Bukola, they yes. were like, you know, yeah. in school, secondary yeah. school. But also in Casanova, he was a bit more adult, but still. So mm -hmm. he can do the adult. I agree for I sure. like. Yeah. And I'm really rooting for him. And he does skits on his page on Instagram as well. Uh -huh. All right, talking about Alvin Abayami, let's check out this clip. Let's go. Yeah. Mom, what was this now? Get you your bathroom. I want you downstairs in 20 minutes, okay? And in West Street, whatever. And we live in the same compound. What? It's cute though. I need help, sis. I don't know what I'm doing. It just it just comes over me. What are you talking about? You killed a girl. It's not my fault. This damn village. This damn place. I've said this is a girl here. I've been doing things that we never do. This village. Yes. How about you know me, Koyo? You know I would never do this, this. Super talented actor. Yeah, he's really good. Talented, talented. Very versatile. Yes. All right, now to the fourth, Uzo Arukwe. This Nigerian actor started his acting career in 2017 when he played Sergeant Tutu in the movie Sergeant Tutu. He's also starred in other films like Mali in Line and Smash. I think we can agree that his biggest role till date was his role in the Sugar Rush movie. It's Where Is My Money Scene? <laughs> Remains one of the most talked about scenes from the film. Yeah. Oh my God, where is my mother? Where is my mother? What? <laughs> <laughs> that was the one that was the one that was like, that voice. He really stood out in that yes. film. Yes. I saw him in Pali. I've seen him in a couple of stuff, yeah. but like minor roles, but um, of course, the Sergeant Tutu Sergeant was a big one. But I think what he did in that um, Sugar Rush, uh, yes. really made him stand out. But that voice. Yeah. <laughs> where is oh, my money? money. <laughs> you know? And then I couldn't even laugh when somebody, uh, you know, polluted the air and then it was, don't spoil the film for them. Don't spoil we'll the film. I about somebody, that somebody, somebody, somebody. Let's me. check out this clip of <laughs> Uzo Arukwe. Class. <laughs> for this case, now five million naira cash. As a patriotic citizen of this country, there is no case we cannot solve. My brother, what are we here for? We will double up there and take position. Okay. We will double down the road and move. Where is my money? Damn, madam, come on! You spent 150,000 US dollars! <laughs> US if dollars! If it's that kind of money, that voice would definitely come out <laughs> now. <laughs> yes! 150,000 dollars! <laughs> <laughs> And, and he's really good looking as well, which I think will work for him as well in the industry. O'Shea. Yeah, okay, O'Shea. he's not a relative. I'm just... Oh, okay, oh, sorry. Oh. I am just... Leave me oh. I am just... Moving on to the next... She's just saying. Moving on to the next actor and our fifth actor that we're taking a look at today to look out for in 2020, Effa Iwara. Yes, this Nollywood actor wasn't actually always an actor and claims to have gotten into acting as a result of boredom. Yeah, he actually started off <laughs> as a rapper. But um, he officially started his acting career in 2009 as a rapper but um he officially started his acting career in 2009 in the television series sugar and he starred in nosa's always pray for you music video yes he was the vixen in that and he has starred in films like put a ring on it and seven and his biggest break came from his more recent roles on the tv series at Joche and uh, the web series the men's club i have a strong feeling that 2020 yes will be this super passionate actors year and i really really believe that 
Um, I know, I actually personally know Efa, and I know he's been. to the Efa. Efa, 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 Efa. <laughs> he's been on this for a while, and yeah, E to the Efa. E to the Efa. <laughs> and he started out um, rapping, rapping, and somehow he found himself here. And again, I was saying earlier how you could have done like so many roles, and it would be that one that really brings you out. And it's crazy because it's not even on TV, it's a web series, The Adoche. Men's Club. And, and Adjoche is on yeah. TV, but even Men's Club, like that has really yes. made people talk about him. Really? Recently, he put up this post on his WhatsApp status and said, I have some songs that I should release. I wanted to actually tell him, don't release Don't do it. No, just, so the thing is, <laughs> and everyone was Just good. keep acting. Yeah, Ever talented was rapper. Everyone was, Ever really was just yeah. singing. Was. So I think that at some point, if he really wants to chill and still re release songs for the, road. for the road, he can't. And who knows? Maybe people will just pounce on it and it will be another thing some, for... Some Will Smith like, movement. You know? Yeah, who knows? So it's a work for Will Smith. I mean, but do I, you. But I also feel like there are different paths to blowing. Mm -hmm. And I feel like maybe rapping wasn't it for him and yeah, acting has become... It might even be for him in the long run. Who knows? Maybe. Because this life is just rice and beans. You know what I'm saying? Bam. Like, <laughs> yeah. Wow, well, it motivators. Be... It's rice and beans, so that no, means it blends well. Like what? So it's rice and beans. That means it does not, but then you can eat it together. And at the same time, yeah, you can you can say that, well, maybe this thing is not going to, and then it works at the end of the day. So you know what? Just do you. So okay. that you die empty okay. at the end of the okay. day. How about that? Okay, thank Precise. you. Guys. So I think that we should keep, so I think that we should keep uh, motivation for Motivation Thursday, because it fails on Tuesdays. But let's take a look at Effa, active, and then uh, we'll be back. I'm just leaving my meeting now. I've been calling you since forever. Yes, I'm actually still, still in the client's office room right now. Yeah. Office for granted. Because you're my son-in-law does not mean I should think about your personal issues. Yes, sir. This should be the last time you will ever come late for work in this office. <laughs> to the FA. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I, I must say that, I, I, I mean, Effa, if you're watching, I love the way suit looks <coughs> on you. What? You run into Effa and Effa is looking, <coughs> if you can use drop dead gorgeous for a guy or dapper. In your words, that's subjective. <coughs> wow. Thank you for coming. Okay. Um, by the way, guys, for those who think Daily Top 5 just means that these are the only five actors we're looking out for, no, that's there's not what still it means. More, yes, there's more. so many more. And of course, sometime in the future, we'll revisit them and, you know, we'll talk more about other people in the industry. Because last week when we did the females, yeah, yeah, people, people were like, where are the Yoruba? Yeah. Chill, be chill. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so Top 5, it's a mix, okay? All right, guys, that is it on the first hour of the show. But there is still more to come in the second half. Yes, there's Entertainment News Recap our guests where are they now and of course movies at the movies so we're gonna see you when we'll see you at one baby yes yes, yes. oh wow see you at one yeah <laughs> Yes, sir. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the second half of the show. And right about now, it's time to chew it off. We're in a minute or less, one of us events oh, wow. on what's currently bothering her. Huh? Because I'm good, even though Chelsea um, was beaten by Manchester yeah, United yesterday. So you say that you wish that it would be you that but, would be ranting. No, but I'm good, though. You are not good. I'm good. Is you are, you are good? not good. But why no. would they beat? Why would they beat Chelsea? You will say that it is. You, you would have begged for Ladele like that to want I'm to rant. Do you want to rant? Um, Should I give you my rant? See why? Why? Yeah, give bad. me my rant back. <laughs> <laughs> give me my rant back. All right. So um, moving away from Oji's rant. Lampard. 
Lampard, you had just one job. Shabiru, people were forming the lamps. Give him time. Give him time. You had before. one job. How dare Give you start? Give me my rant back. Oh, it's not your rant. Oh, dear, my what rant. is it in this life? Uh, Jerry, so my rant <laughs> is treat people kindly and with respect. And I say this because, um, so the way that class classism works in Nigeria, it can put, you know, it can make you feel like, oh, the security person is less than <laughs> the... Uh, I don't know, the, the CEO. Yeah, the CEO, exactly. So I think that um, the same respect that you would treat the CEO with, treat the security person with that. And it might sound like, okay, that's unrealistic, but so maybe not the exact same way, but at least come close enough. So don't, if you won't talk to someone else who isn't in that class anyhow, then don't do it to that person because he's in that class. So I don't um, even understand not in the exact same way. So maybe you might feel like ah, there's the extra sucking up that you do to your boss. You get, you might not be able to do it to him because he's not the one paying your bills. But I mean, in terms of the base level of, at the very basis level of treating people with respect, just do that. Treat people equally when it comes to respect. So if, don't call him names because you won't do that to the next person. Mm -hmm. So why are you doing mm -hmm. to, to him because he opens the gates? You don't know where he can be tomorrow. True um, you're, you're made in the house. Um, these are people, your nanny, these are people looking after your children. <laughs> and yo, they're going to pee in their breast milk. Um, and feed the child. Feeding bottles in farm. So just be, but not just because of what they would even do to your kids. Just be nice to people. It costs nothing, honestly. For me, I wouldn't even say that it's not because of where that person will be tomorrow. Exactly. But then human beings are human yeah. beings. You should just treat people with respect, like everybody with respect. Mm -hmm. That's what I just think yeah. your security or and so as you said, some posts are even very sensitive. If you like what I'm doing anyhow, they will just put one small sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's why some people take, when, once you have a cook, a driver, this, they feel that those people, they have your information, yeah. they have like, almost they have your life, so yeah. they are always very careful and they treat these people well. Mm -hmm. But then I think that it should just be for everybody yeah. and a child, even if that person yes, is a yes, child, yes. because we are fond of, I remember... <laughs> growing up like you just see maybe some of your mommy's friends i don't know what they think they do when they <laughs> did that thing they just say yeah me i be kilo you know yeah see as young as i was i hated, hated that thing yeah. like i'll just pretend as if it's not me you're talking to like ah uh -uh. yeah <laughs> put some respect on it oh. <laughs> if i'm a child yeah don't say yeah me i be kilo you know you will say Yemi or Olaim, like you call me, you yeah. know what's my soul. Which one is? Yemi Abikilo, Kilo, 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 I, 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 I could Abikilo. never agree more with this what? very thing you just read. A lot of people did it. Oh, up. Yeah. Yes. Shh, shh. Wow, wow, wow. calling. I, wait, ah. I, I can't even stand away, even though it's like. <laughs> 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 but yeah, honestly, just be nice to people. People who are younger than you. I know before rude became like a popular thing, people used to feel like, oh, you can't be rude to someone who's younger, but you can, actually. Yes. You know, but. Uh, I said to some people, room. I can't just remember them. Some people, my mommy's friends, they just, say they just want to call you. They will now say because they are done. I will, well, I will just do my ears. <laughs> She's angry. It's my rant. I'm going to okay. my corner. So after, after that is said and done, Lampard, I blame you, number wow, one. OJ, OJ, no, it's not about Lampard today. And it's I blame about my VAR. Rant. It is my rant, not yours. OK. One day you rant about VAR, that day is not today. Thank Ladies you so much. Gentlemen, moving on, yes. <laughs> right about now, it's time for a quick recap of the entertainment news. All right, first we talked about Brian O'Kara and Marie Miller, who have become parents. And of course, we talked about this one, they cannot say it doesn't believe in marriage. Neo confirmed splits from wife Crystal Smith. Mm -hmm. All righty, guys, our guest is here, finally. So don't go anywhere because we will be back after this break. Stick around, baby. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the show. And it is now time for you to meet our guest. Yes, he's right here in the studio. Now, you might remember him for his role as Khalil in MTV Sugar. Aside from being an actor, he's also a writer, presenter, host, and so many other things that we're going to talk about in a minute or less. His name is Moses Akirele. Hello. I'm Benny Mo. So I was asking if I was supposed to, like, drop, like that time she says money, I just draw. Oh, yeah, no. Should we do it again? His we'll name. He's going to carry me up. You will carry yourself. Carry yourself up. All right, we have come here. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome to the show. Hey, Thank you so much. It's so good to see you. My head was swollen as we were sitting I, I feel the like I didn't do your bio justice. I only said like three things. So please, can you tell me the remaining ones? Blow your trumpet. Oh. Well, I, I think I just easily summarize it to say I'm a multimedia personality. I think that just like summarizes it. Uh, so that it's not looking like. You oh, better sell oh, wow. your market. Well, things. primarily, I, I'm a writer, I'm an actor, I'm a director, producer. I'm also a presenter. 
and a multimedia entrepreneur. Let's just put that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> And people, people often forget I'm an actor, but yes, I'm still an actor. Which, which, which of these things do you love the most? That's the problem. You get it. It's like you have shirts, you go to market, you buy, ah, this shirt is fine, you buy it, you buy it, you buy it, you buy it. You like it. You now start thinking, which do I like the most? Mm. I can't, it's hard to choose. Or oh, many more, you are just restless. <laughs> that, it feels like that. But here's the thing, when I'm not doing these things, that's when I become restless. Mm, wow. enough, like I stay enough. at home one day and I'm like, hey, what's wrong with me? It's very, like when I'm ready. I know, yeah. right? Yeah, so because the thing is, these things, they are calling you. I'm like, don't do it, no, do it. But also, I think, look, you have to be specific because it's different when you're just running around and you want to do everything right. than when there is something there for you. Because most times, mm. because hustle. You understand? You have to also. You don't think because you want to also, you sell pure water, you sell this one, you sell that one. But no, let it be that that pure water is calling you and you are calling each other. Mm. Oh, no, that, is, that is the Motivation thing. Motivation to you, sir. Deep that, 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 pure that is, water colour thumb to pure You get it, get mm. it. That is, the, that is it for me. And I always sort of knew everything that, had, uh, that, that I was attracted to and I wanted to do. Mm. But for me, it was a matter of taking it one step at the other. Because if you're rushing, garbage in. Garbage. Garbage, garbage out. out. So I've always wanted to take it step after step, mm. started writing okay. and moving. Let's just be cutting it small, small. Let's talk about MTV Sugar, <laughs> since oh. you are like everything. Oh, so MTV I would Sugar. like to know, yeah. you know, it talks about social issues. I would like to know which of the social issues is very close to your heart. If any. If, if any. any. Well, I think pretty much all of it. Because I, I don't used to think about myself. <laughs> I think about people a lot. So for every of these things that I've seen exist in different places, I mm. think I just feel mm. there was, there's something about it and there's something I could do for it. And that's why when MTV Sugar came, it was like, oh, finally, there's a way. I mean, my character might not be relating all of these stories, yes, mm -hmm. but I am in that family. And what we are collectively saying mm. is let's tackle this issue uh, from career. I think career will be what I'm big on because, I mean, that is also what my character is about, career. Because as young people, especially in a country like ours, uh, young people, they won't blow. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But aside that, uh, let's not just limit it to the one blow. They want to feed, they mm -hmm. want chop. And most times it's like anything where I want to do that looks like that is what is going to bring the money ASAP, I got to do it. And, and most times we just end up maybe trying to look for ladders or trying to do waiting on people instead of taking our own dreams and the right into our hands yeah. and all, which is what my character really reflects. And I feel really. like um, that show has done so much for a lot of, I mean, Timini was on the FR, yeah. you, mm -hmm. Umi, so many yeah. of you. Bukola, that have, yeah, Bukola, exactly. Bukola, uh, yeah, Bukola, um, a lot of people, yeah. I mean, both here at home and even outside. Even uh, Lupita. Yeah. Yeah, Lupita, yeah, yeah, yeah Lupita. Lupita. Yeah, yeah, Nick, yeah. Nick Mutama. T was having just on it at some yes. point. Vanessa MD was on yes. it at some point. Like, yes. uh, it's, uh, this was on it. Yes. Uh, I think, aside being uh, a show that has a message that is that huge, it is some, it's been a pedestal for so many people's yeah. career and has yeah. actually done a lot for people, including me. It was my first acting gig, and I'm mm. really, I mean, it started on the Big Bang, you know, like that. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was the first acting gig yeah. for me. And it had, it had a huge message that I could relate with, mm. and it had a huge platform. I mean, one day I was just at home, I got email from an international TV saying that they're going to start airing sugar. I didn't understand it. I thought it was <laughs> Bokeh's <SMS. laughs> <laughs> And then I got a, I got a mention on, on, tweet, uh, oh, on Instagram, like, Look at me, mommy. I'm they're there. They show me in the abroad. Oh, wow. I think you get it. That some of my dear, my dupe come. I'm like, I, I want you in the abroad. Like I have friends over there who are like, who have forgotten you or I've like, not heard from you in a while. Like, oh, well, I like what, well, let's not call it from the side. Don't be angry. <laughs> like, okay, well, I mean, I love what you are doing. I'm so proud of you. And then that's usual line. We always knew you had it. I'm like, mm, yeah, oh, right. But yes, oh, wow. I mean, I mean, some people are very genuine with this thing, and you, you can tell. But the good thing is, this has done a lot for people like me. Yeah. I mean, people can call on you and say, oh, we, we like how you deliver this. Do you think you can deliver this? You want to come in for a read? You want mm. to do this? I was in SA last year and I walked into a reception and they're like, oh, I know you. I'm like, so, so you know me. <laughs> so you're in SA. You're watching me. I'm like, <laughs> I know you too already. <laughs> so it's done a lot for people. Uh, so like it us, takes yeah. you global. Interesting. Global. And Beautiful. then if you have voices in other things you wanted to learn, uh, you can now learn them from. True. Because, I mean, True. it gives you a platform already. Mm. You can now talk about societal issue. You can now uh, go into things you wanted to go to before. So it's beautiful. Are you living the dream? Mm. Oh, the dream. Yes, we're living it. But the thing is, every night when we sleep, we dream again. <laughs> so we're living the dream. We've been dreaming, but we're dreaming more. <laughs> so wake up every day to, to keep living the do, dream. Do you dreaming. feel... No, but I genuinely mean that. Do you feel fulfilled, like, is this the life that you imagined? Is it everything yeah, you imagined? it is many things I imagined and more. Mm. I mean, I started out pretty early. I mean, it's probably like my 10th year in the, in the, the industry. And I've, I, I can see that what I thought about 10 years ago when I came back to Lagos, I'm doing more than it now. Mm. It's not been a, 
uh, an easy sale. No, 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 no. But it's worth it. Mm. I wake up sometimes. I mean, I came from work to here. I'm still going from where yeah. to work. I work love right. it. I love what I'm doing. Okay, so, so yeah. you still come, you come from work, you go, and every day you leave. And how do you leave as a saint? Because I saw somewhere where you said that um, as... <laughs> yeah. Why are you running away? You have been rooting about me. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you oh say? Oh God, you're a mess. Okay, so <laughs> you, so, I feel like I feel like you achieve Brad Pitt status, and you still wouldn't believe that you're that big. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think it's fantastic. Oh my God, no, don't give me that. <laughs> Let me ask my question in peace. I don't know what you want to you say, boy. You said as a celebrity, you should totally avoid controversies. And I am wondering how you live every day without controversies and as a saint. See, the thing <laughs> is, I cannot say that this is the memo or this is the guide or the manual. Mm. Because even when you sit, I mean, we know people that are sitting in their house and we still go to look for them and bring the juice out on Twitter. <laughs> you see, but the thing is, try mm. as much as you can. <laughs> try. Just do your own best. People will come for you. Somebody will slap you and then be done to say it in the news that, oh, yeah, you made she me slap him. In this era where people are looking for yeah. who to slap so that they can be in the news. Yeah, so you get, but now it might be your choice to see that. Because the truth is, we want to live our life and be sure that nobody's, you want to live your life, do your own thing on a boom, and nobody's actually digging into that. Yeah. yeah. So the, but what I do on my own is to try as much as possible, avoid where I know there's no need to be, <laughs> avoid the noise where I don't need to hear. But pe people will talk. If tomorrow somebody writes something about it, they can send that the sermon with you. They can write it tomorrow. Hey. Yeah. That is what they chose to do. Right? Yeah. But me, I'll make sure I'm not giving it that light. That is me. True. Let's just try True. our best. True. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's hard enough. It's tough enough the life we live and what we do. Mm -hmm. Everything we do, they're going to read about it. Do the, da, da, da. So it's tough. We have chosen it. It's the love we chose. Yeah. We cannot be saying, no, we didn't choose it. So, mm -hmm. But on my own, I just try to make sure that I am not... Too All right, <laughs> well, let's go on this commercial break and we'll <gasps> return. Moses is actually really stick here. Oh, Benny Moe. <laughs> Yes, sir. Welcome back. Yes, you just checked out that trailer, um, Closure by Moses Akirili Ogbeni Mo, right here. Okay, our guest. Yes, so you directed, you wrote. Yes. You played love in it. You, yeah, you kissed inside. And my love. I was in the, someone's at it. It was You are the one you just watched. That is, you were somewhere inside it. it I was, she is only me that inside it. I was I'll, somewhere inside it. How tasking is a project like this, yeah. whereby you are involved in virtually everything? Very. Trust me, very. And for me, like I said, I like to take things step after step. So mm. most of these things are very experimental for me, uh, personally. I've always written poems, and then I always wanted to see my poems being visualized. So closure was the first step for me trying to achieve it. So it was very experimental, and I wanted to like see it all through how it is. I call my poems Moses Akirili's Musing. So it's about me. I write in first person singular. That's put me in trouble a lot, but yes. <laughs> I write in first person singular, and then I just felt it was better for me to be the image in it. So. Mm. Being tasking is not, you can't undermine it, no, no, because I mean, you have to do this, do this, do that. But the beauty of all of these things, and as I tell people, is collaboration. Mm. Our problem, largely, most times, is we won't do all of us. I want to take oh all of the gosh, credit. Oh my I ask you about that. Yeah, but the thing is that when you learn that collaboration is key, you achieve a lot. Because if you understand that if he's doing this and you're doing that and he's doing this, they say, car for what, we're all of him more. Mm. So if you do that, I, I think we'll achieve a whole lot. You so, will leave the stress <coughs> that might have come with Talking you about collaborations, yeah. because, you know, as you said, you know, Nigeria is that place where people just want to show that I am versatile and vast, and so they want to do everything like that. And you see that <laughs> in the abroad. <laughs> people can actually do everything, but they understand that delegating these yeah. jobs, you know, are just uh, fantastic like that. So you have a script writer, you have this, even yeah, for songs director, and all that. Yeah, you yeah, have people doing yeah. all of this. And especially with the fact that we don't have structure in the entertainment industry yet. We are getting them yeah. moving slowly and all that. So tell me, 
Is it about fund most times for you, for people yeah. in the Nigerian entertainment industry when they don't want to collaborate because they think that, oh, I'll be paying this person this or that, or at the end of the day, that person is asking for some sort of royalty and oh. then it's going to cause problems? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the first point of um, people wanting to do it all by themselves is valid. Also, I know uh, valid to an extent. Also, I, I would say where funds can affect. Because a man comes to you and like, oh, I want to make this film. Calling your job by. Let us what come like this. Let that boss fly like this. Let that, 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 that. If all of these things you have said, you need like 10 people already. And then you now bring a meager amount. So the one person is trying to see how I can use this amount to do all of this. So, uh, all right, you are Abi. You direct Abi, or oh, then shoot camera. Come, and <laughs> I'll give you this money. <laughs> uh, you, you act Abi, and you can do script as well as him. Come. So that way you, sh you now have to use that little budget to do something. Or some people mm. are just greedy and they want to um, embezzle. So by the time I brought me my shit costume, da 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 da, and then I can keep this whole chunk of it. So those are largely the problems that can be. But and that is why we don't even have good movies too sometimes that what? you're complaining about this, yeah. this, that, that, that. But I also give kudos to people who have tried. I've mm -hmm. been on productions where I said, I mean, they go all out. You're like, yeah, in Nigeria, no, look at me. Mm. So let's stay on that um, collaborating thing. So um, I'm sure you've seen the drama online with Tyler Perry. People saying only Tyler Perry will write, direct, mm -hmm. produce, mm -hmm. act in the film, do yeah. everything. And should he start considering delegating and having other people on board? Um, do you think that it's possible to do it by yourself and be a solid filmmaker? I, I mean, it's, it's, I mean it's a 50-50 thing. Um, Tyler Perry has groomed himself over the years. But one thing I believe personally is a storyteller. I can tell a story in this direction, this angle, as a writer. And then he can see it as a director from another angle mm. and add to the beauty of that storytelling. Mm. And as an editor, I see it from another, because this thing, their face is to storytelling. Mm. So if you delegate all of this, right, uh, the influence and everybody's creativity can come to play to make a beautiful picture. Mm. So I, I, I'm a fan of delegating and collaborating. But Tyler is Tyler. <laughs> like, is it by force? See, what Tyler I just do on my own? Look, I mean, I'm sure he understands this. And if he wants to do it, he can. So Tyler is Tyler. If he chooses to do it, fine. And if he wants to, because I mean, he can't still do everything. Mm. No matter how you want to take up this position, he can't still do everything. He won't hold camera one, go and dance to camera yeah. two, and dance yeah. to camera three. Yeah. So there are still some things that he will delegate to everything. And all of these things as to storytelling. The way he would frame that is not the way he would frame. Mm. And it will affect the way my performance goes. Mm. So all of these mm. things still come to play. What are the works yeah. do you have in the pipeline? Oh, well, we've done Closure. Closure is coming out soon. We also, hey, my producer has gone to arrest me about sets. We shot, <laughs> we shot something else that will be coming up after Closure. <laughs> but we're going to introduce it just at the end of Closure so people know it is. And recently, I've been directing lately. I uh, directed a film that was nominated for... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're not going to shake me, but I'll shake you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> High five, Bluetooth. Show yourself. Yeah, and um, I've, been, I've been doing a couple of writing and mm. co-writing and directing because when I'm directing, sometimes you just want to see a bit of, okay, what the f beginning of it is like and, and then let the story come back to me. So I've been directing for a couple of persons, short uh, web series, short projects. I'm currently directing. When I leave here, I'm going back. I'm directing like TV content for somebody. Yeah, I'm so not allowed money. to say all of those. But this is the time we have, we're using it, so we're doing it, doing it, doing it. Quickly, your handle across board. Oh, my handle is at that A, Sakolet. <laughs> M-O-S-E-S-A-K-E-R-E-L-E. -E. Can you hear me? Moses Akirele. Everywhere, everywhere you go, search nice Moses Akirele. Thank you so much for coming. Thank, 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, much Moses. Uh, Ogbenimo, <laughs> we'll definitely be looking out for more works from you. Oh, look out. I'll definitely come back to tell people that we have brought more things. If you don't Amen. look out, we will look at you before. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Ladies and gentlemen, there'll be more movie talk when we return with movies at the movies. So stay here with us. Thank you once again. Thank you. Which way, which way should I win? <laughs> Yes, welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, it's time for Movies at, at the, the movies. movies. And our job right here is to make your choices when you go to the cinema very easy. Mm -hmm. Yes, we'll tell you about the movies showing currently. That's yes, right. we start with this one, Dear Afi. Yes, Leah, a young, overworked ad agency executive, is forced to invent a boss to keep her employer from finding out when a side hustle startup agency wins a major contract. Things goes from bad to worse, and she gets increasingly more successful, and she has to invent even 
even crazier ways to keep our own boss from finding out. It's a star-studded one. Yes, actors include Ali Nu, Odunlade Adekola, Chinedu Ikedieze, Chiwetel Agu, Eniana Wigwe, Jide Kosoko, Kennedy Bankole, MC Lively, Timini Ebuson, William Suchemba, OJ. and OJ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are desperate times, my brother. Call me Anna. Hmm? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. I can't do this, ma. I'm sorry. Stupid, but that's my Michael. What one flowers are these basic? Number one, Dr. Nando. Number one. No, my only ghost fire will consume you. Me, I want me, I want me, me, no leave, no transfer. Your grip is hard on Help me! Oh, me this is looking like uh, the end of the road for us. Hey, by any chance, put Cameroon pepper inside your father's eyes. Star started one right there. There, I feel I wasn't inside. I'm just joking, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was looking out for you there, but um, yo. So again, everyone is in the this star one, and. One, yeah. We've seen that work out only a few times mm. and we've seen it not work out a lot of times. Mm. So I'm really looking forward to, I, I was supposed to go to the premiere on Sunday, but I couldn't sadly. go. Yeah, sadly we couldn't be there, but um, really want to see it. I actually want to see if, you know, I, the story is twisted. Like, so um, I'm doing like side hustle, like. And I don't want my boss <laughs> and to I know. So I have to invent, pretend that I have another boss and all that. So I, I want to, the story sounds interesting. I'd like to see how it goes. And some of my faves are in it. Um, Kendi Bankole, I think she plays like the very lead. And, so and Tonya like, Imaku and her husband. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, you want to <laughs> get husband and wife. And I'm like, like why? <laughs> Anyway, but yeah, looking forward to seeing it, shall yeah. All right, moving on to the next film, Quinn and Slim. Slim and Quinn's first date takes an unexpected turn when a policeman pulls them over for a minor traffic violation. When the situation escalates, Slim takes the officer's gun and shoots him in self-defense. Now labeled cop killers in the media, Slim and Quinn feel that they have no choice but to go on, on the run and evade the law. Actors include Bokim Woodbine, um, David Kaluuya, and Jody Turner-Smith. So where? Can I ask you something? What took you so long to respond to me? I didn't feel like being alone. Not tonight. So you turned to Tinder. What made you pick me? I liked your picture. You had this sad look on your face. I felt sorry for you. Damn. You made a playlist? That's cute. Don't go through my phone. <laughs> so what happens tonight? You're going to drop me off, and then you'll go home, I guess. Oh. Did you think we were going to have sex? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> No. You failed to execute a turn signal back there. Oh, my bad. Step out of the vehicle. Can I ask why, officer? No, you may not. Put your hands on your head and get on the ground now. Are you serious? Get on the ground! Why is he under arrest? Get back in the car! I am an attorney. Damn, I'm just reaching for my cell phone! No! This guy wanted me to die and I messed up his plan. I don't think that's what he wanted. Hey, is this y'all? We have to go, now. It's all over the news. I support what y'all doing. It was self-defense. Power to the people. 187, two young suspects. Oh, I'm so excited about this one because um, Melina Matsukas is telling this story mm -hmm. that, you know, Americans are really it's talking about. Star yes, star exactly. And of course, Black Lives Matter and of course the cop. cop killing, yeah, white the, cop. yeah, the white cop, black, um, black people thing. And so I'm glad that this is happening and I really, really want to see it. Um, I'm excited for Daniel Kaluuya. I, we talked about how after um, Get Out. We, <laughs> which was a crazy movie. Which was a very way. crazy movie. Like what's next? Yeah, where like he's going to get more roles and it's so nice to see him doing more stuff. And this is, 
it looks really good, honestly. And the girl as well, Jodie Turner Smith. Um, she, I mean, the trailer. She, she did some decent acting in it. And I, I think Amanda went to see. Yeah, it. and it was even in Nigeria can, for this yes, particular movie. Yes. Um, in, Internet Movie Database is rating the seven points. Two over ten, which and Rotten is Tomatoes is giving it like eighty-five percent or so. so is, it, is it because of the storyline? I thought about that okay. I was like, is it because you don't want to offend line. black people? No, <laughs> no, it's because. It's a storyline. It's like a true. It's a true life story. Imagine, it's a regular occurrence. Imagine rating it yeah, for us. Yeah, it's a regular occurrence. So why would you not want to go watch that movie? I rate it good. That's basically what it is, though. But yeah, I really want to watch it. I do. All right. Should we go and watch it? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. We're definitely. gonna take a selfie at the cinema <laughs> because you will not go. You will slime me. You're saying yeah now because people are watching. I got you. Oh, okay. What does yeah. that mean? We will watch it. Oh, where? Okay. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the next movie, Fantasy Island. Yes, this enigmatic uh, Mr. Rogue makes the secret dreams of his lucky guests come true at the luxurious but remote tropical resort. But when the fantasies turn into nightmares, the guests have to solve the island's mystery in order to escape with their lives. Mm. Yes, actors in this movie include Lucy L, Maggie Q, Portia Double Day. There is an elevator. In the elevator, you press the button to the floor with no name. Behind those doors, there's a life you always dreamt of. The plane, it's here. This weekend, you will be our guests. Here, anything and everything is possible. No service. It's not everything is possible. Good evening. I am Mr. Rurik. Let me officially welcome you to Fantasy Island. Fantasy Island! I'm curious how this all works. What if your fantasy involves a person from your life? Holograms, like Tupac. What if it's somebody who died? Tupac. So, what's your fantasy? Revenge on a childhood bully. You're a liar. The, oh my the goodness. The crazy thing about Fantasy Island is scary. Yeah. Because you that is your fantasy, right? Then we'll show you yeah. your fantasy. And so be careful <laughs> what you wish for. Yep. <laughs> that, I was gonna say that, that that's exactly what stands out when I saw or what stood out when I saw the trailer for this film. Be careful what you wish for. And it's so freaky. So um the producer of Get Out actually also crazy produced movie. This yes. <laughs> so I was like, oh god, this cannot oh, be good. Movie. This cannot be good. And I just when it progressed and it saw how it started out normal and then it goes into like a freaky mode. I'm like, freaky. oh my gosh, I don't know if I want to watch it. Like I want to, but I I, get, would, I would I definitely I love storylines like this. Nah. I definitely love storylines like this. It reminds me of Redbox a bit. Yeah. yeah. Like it starts out Starting okay and good, then but now it's not creepy exactly, later. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one one of the um, ladies in the movie where um, she was wishing her fantasy was seeing a friend in those days that she doesn't like that was wicked to her and when she, she was growing up. Saw the friend being she, tortured. Yeah. Like oh, you want to torture your friend in your mind. She's like, this but is right not now what I meant. we want to torture her for you to see. <laughs> crazy movie, ladies Very and gentlemen. Crazy. Fantasy. What's Island. the rating like? Uh, 4.2 over 10, which I do not know why. Which is below average. But y'all are not stopping me. I'm still going to watch it. <laughs> You're going to go to the cinema to watch it? Yeah, definitely. Mm, cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's go over to Honey Pot. HP, Honey. which one do you want to watch? Let's find out. One to three, dear Afi, Queen and Slim, and uh, Fantasy everything. Island. Yeah, I'm going to see everything. Why do you want I to see everything? I got the invitation for, to the premiere of dear, dear Afi, yeah. but unfortunately, I couldn't go. I'm, well, I have people to apologize to. <laughs> and then, <laughs> we all do. Hi, Big Sam. And then, um, uh, yeah. Queen and Slim, so, Fantasy uh, No, Island. let's talk about Fantasy Island. So okay. let me tell you what I've been What's doing your lately. Fantasy? No, let me even tell you what I've been. I have a lot of fantasies <laughs> and um, and uh, fetishes too. No, don't don't go there now. Okay, so now please come back, come back home. Okay, back, back. back oh home. wow, <laughs> sorry, sorry. So you see what I do these days when I'm watching a movie alone, and so when I think that it's stressing me out, stressing me out in like, oh, yes. see what I do these days. I just put stuff and sleep. Ah, and then I like, no, I can't. <laughs> I don't know why I've been doing that lately. I like, I'm like, ends. like ah. This one is going. No, you're not going. To. <laughs> so if it's just me, yeah. but if I have like another person with me, but these days I don't know why I do that. Like, no, you're not going to stress. Me and, out. and you really want to see Queen and Slim as well? Yeah, I really, want to see that. I, I really want to see it. But then I want to see that Fantasy Island. Okay. Yeah. All right, now. It's time for where are they now? Take a look to find out which actor we are talking about today. 
It's where are they now? Anne in Germanze. Anne is an Algerian actress who rocks the Nollywood scenes in the 90s. She had an early start in the movie industry and with the support of her parents, she dropped her first choice course, which is law, for a diploma in theater art at the University of Port Harcourt. She came into prominence after featuring in the 1995 blockbuster Rattlesnake as Amara, then went ahead to feature in Domitila in 1996, which made her a household name. Aside from her acting passion, Anne lent her distinct voice to voiceovers for products and plays. Sometime in 2007, she had an accident on her way back from a location in Calabar. It left her incapacitated for almost two years, which put a hold on her Nollywood dreams. Anne granted an interview after the accident and when asked why she hadn't been seen in recent movies, she said the script hadn't been forthcoming. However, Anne would later be seen on the set of a movie with Charles Novia and Foluke Daramola on different occasions. It seems this tough actress refuses to let the limelight fade on her as she featured in The Lost Cafe in 2017 as Ose's mother and since 2008 she has been a cast member on Tinsel playing the role of Inspector Sankey. Now you know where they are now. So, and Njamanzi. Always rocking sneakers yeah. on a regular. With her, on yeah. whatever, she yes. whatever she's wearing. Yes. And she has like a tomboyish vibe on uh, Tinto, which mm -hmm. she's on. I think she's like a cop. Mm -hmm. and yeah, she yeah, has yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So at least I know she's still acting, which is fantastic. Which is fantastic, which is fantastic. Mm. Looks good. Ah, it's time to go, guys. No. Yes, it's time to go. Yes, so Jay, let's be going. Thank you guys so much <laughs> for staying tuned. This I know today feels like a Thursday, right? Because for Ladele is here with OJ and I. Yeah. Fantasy but fetish. You ah. please. Let's be, see, these people will be here, but I'm not dead. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the show. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for staying tuned today. <laughs> Thank you for watching yesterday and of course today as well. Of course, we'll be back tomorrow, God willing. Hey, from myself, Foladile, OJ, and Honeypot, the Trouble Gang. Ego Ego. Ego. <laughs>